All right, folks, today we're taking a look at the USMC Gen 2 carrier and ways to make it just a little bit better. Um, I know most people in the Marine Corps switched to the Gen 3, and I'm going to be doing so very soon as well. But before I did so, I wanted to do a video, a uh, quick touch up on how to make this thing work for you. So without further ado, uh, here we go. All right, one of the first things that I do is swap out the buckle on my shooting side for the yib yab tab, right, which is included in your plate carrier kit. So you can do that basically by taking off, okay, the old shoulder strap detaches the same exact way. You take your yib yab tab, run it through the bottom like so. And then run it back through the top. All right, get it to the length that you need. And you take this little metal tab that's right here, pop it through here, and you pull. And attaches this way. Reason being for doing this is that now when you shoulder your rifle you don't have this big buckle uh, in your way but you can still unclip and then throw your kit off that way. Uh, another alternate method if you do not have a yib yab tab what you can do is actually completely reverse these straps. Now we'll show you how in just a minute. Remove the buckle from the front. Remove this rear side buckle. Then simply attach the buckle that was on the front to the rear of the plate bag, like so. Flip it around to the front. Take this small metal piece, run the end of your buckle strap through here, and then tighten as needed. And then you have now flipped your buckle from the front to the back, similar to the Eagle SPC carrier. So those are the two different ways you can adjust your straps. All right. The next thing you'll want to do is to take these shoulder straps and tuck those bad boys in. So what you're going to do, you're going to remove the shoulder strap itself from the padding that is connected to the carrier. Like so, so that the padding is free. You want to reach in in the big part of the pocket, not the small part where your plate sits, but the big part of the pocket. And you go inside, grab the foam, and pull the foam down so that it's laying flat, okay? And then you essentially, like so. All right, now, I pulled my foam out of this fabric piece, and so now it's just a fabric piece in the corner. And what you can do is just take the fabric piece right here and then tuck it in on itself, just like so. Just kind of crush it in there. All right, now your corner's tucked. I already have my other corner tucked like so, so you can see. And then you do the same thing on the front. All right, typically the front part of the carrier is gonna look like this. So all you need to do, reach inside, 
and flip this thing inside out. Kind of smash it in on itself. Like so. Now, without all that, with all this extra fabric tucked, I didn't do that one very well, but with this extra fabric tucked, it, number one, gets rid of those garbage shoulder straps that are integrated into the carrier, and number two, streamlines your carrier so it's just the plate bags. Um, a lot of guys really like to take the plate bag, especially for the front, and you take 550 cord, weave it through the molly around the back, and then you cinch it tight, all right? And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring the plate carrier cinched tight against the plate itself. So there will not be any extra fabric uh, loose along the sides. I personally prefer to do that. If you have a job where you need to take out your plates often for whatever reason, um, that's gonna be a problem for you because you're just gonna have to keep tightening and retightening and untightening, and it's gonna be a bother. But uh, if you don't take apart your plate carrier that often, that's a nice little thing you can do with the Gen 2. Uh, a couple add-ons I wanna talk about. Uh, first and foremost, Quasim buckles, QASM buckles. Um, I found this set on eBay, but BDS Tactical sells a great Quasim buckle kit. They have a Velcro front right here that attaches right to your placard if you choose to run one. And then they have the little webbing pieces that attach to these style buckles right here. So then I can take my chest rig and I can clip it on as I need my plate carrier, when I don't need my plate carrier, I can just unclip my chest rig and then uh, throw straps on it and run it like that. Uh, the other add-on that I always, always recommend are the BDS Tactical Cummerbunds. Uh, these things have tactic buckles, so they clip on just like so. And then to get them off, you just pull. Um, now, it depends on your unit SOP, if they allow you to wear aftermarket cummerbunds um, I highly recommend you buying these ones or there's a ton of other cummerbund options out there on the market. Uh, I know pharaoh has got a really nice structural two band one, uh, but um, highly recommend uh, upgrading to some sort of aftermarket cummerbund system for the Gen 2 carrier. I know uh, BDS Tactical makes a bunch of upgrades for these things. Um, they have a zipper pouch that you can take your guru pouch and place a zipper right here and it becomes an admin pouch for you. Or they even have inserts to where you can insert uh, magazine uh, pouches in there as well. Um, I have the old Gen Cummerbund that I just secured in place with these one inch snaps, just like so. Uh, but the new Gen Cummerbunds have Velcro and they interface with the Gen 3 uh, very easily and can be easily modified to interface with the Gen 2. Huge shout out to uh, Cattail Antennas. Um, the owner is a very gracious guy and he actually a long time ago walked me through a lot of these additions because I reached out to him a while ago about his profile picture, uh, which at the time was him in Afghanistan and he had his... his uh, plate carrier streamlined so nicely I was like hey how do you do that man you know uh, teach me your ways so he basically showed me how to do all of this um, so huge shout out to him check out his products but thank you all so much for watching um, hope this video was of uh, help to you hope this video gives you some ideas if you have any more ideas uh, or other ways to improve the plate carrier please drop them in the comments thank you